After researching more than 30 of the best waffle makers, we bought the eight top contenders of 2021 and took them to our testing kitchen for some hands-on, side-by-side evaluation. Hundreds of waffles later we have discovered every useful feature and annoying quirk of each one of these models, as well as how well they prepare their namesake Sunday breakfast staple. Whether you're looking for a small, space-efficient machine that can quickly spring to action when a waffle craving strikes, or need a large-capacity device that can handle a large family's weekly waffle tradition, our testing results will lead you to breakfast paradise. The first product on our list is Breville No Mess. No doubt about it, the Breville No Mess made some near-perfect, delicious, classic waffles. There were two features of this appliance that set it apart from the rest. First, it has a wraparound, non-stick moat to catch any spilled batter, and it turns this excess batter into a crispy amused bouche instead of a goopy mess. Second, we found its shade settings to be accurate and consistent. With seven different options from amber and fluffy to dark and crispy, the Breville No Mess can make waffles any way you like them, and we were able to turn out the same results each time consistently, no matter our preference. Lights and beeps eliminate any guesswork and tell you when the iron is up to temperature and when the waffle is done. However, this is one of the most expensive single waffle makers on the market, which will be a barrier for some. It's also quite large and will take up a decent amount of real estate on your counter. However, we found the extra cost and bulk translated into better performance and quality construction in this case. If you are willing to make an investment to enjoy top-notch waffles at home, this is the best option we found, and you should be able to enjoy it for years to come. The next product on our list is Presto Flip Side. Somehow early mornings in the office just seemed easier when we had the Presto Flip Side around. During our testing, it served up fluffy, evenly cooked waffles that sopped up syrup like a sponge. The unique hinge design means you get all the benefits of a waffle maker that can flip over without all of the unwieldy storage issues. This model locks in an upright position and easily slides into a cupboard for storage. It features some nice touches like an indicator light to signify when the machine is up to temperature and a timer that notifies you when the waffle is done. Its non-stick surface worked quite well and didn't leave any caked on messes that required extra cleanup. On the flip side, sorry, we couldn't resist, this waffle maker isn't all strawberries and syrup. Even though the unit packs up quite small for storage, it requires a fair amount of real estate on your counter when in use. Overall we'd call its waffles evenly cooked, but one side does come out a bit crispier than the other. However, we would say that these gripes are all very minor, and we don't think they should dissuade you from stepping up your breakfast game. The next product is Cuisinart WMRCA Round Classic. If you're looking to make waffles at home that are easy on the wallet, the Cuisinart WMRCA Round Classic is hard to beat. In our testing, this machine produced waffles with a similar level of taste and texture to the higher priced models, but for a fraction of the cost. We were especially impressed that every time we used one of the Round Classic's five different shade settings, it reliably produced the same level of crispiness. We found that this kind of consistency is generally associated with a much larger price tag. Unfortunately, the Cuisinart Round Classic's low cost does come with some drawbacks. We felt that this machine's construction was notably lower quality. For example, the unit itself feels poorly balanced, causing us to worry that it could tip over, and the control dials don't seem to be 100% accurate. It also lacks any type of indicator, so it will take some trial and error to figure out how long it takes to heat up and how long it takes to cook a waffle. If you're looking to make waffles an every weekend tradition, it's likely worth paying extra for a model that doesn't have these drawbacks. However, if you need a machine for special occasions just a few times a year, the Cuisinart Round Classic is an inexpensive and effective way to have that option ready and waiting. The next product in our list is Dash Mini Maker Griddle. Sometimes you don't want waffles to be the centerpiece of your breakfast. You want them as a side dish for a large brunch spread, or you may just want to make one small waffle to adorn with a healthy scoop of ice cream. That's where the Dash Mini Maker Griddle shines. 
This small device makes 4-inch classic waffles with ease, expediency, and very little mess. Additionally, the small size and ease of cleaning make the Mini Maker griddle more amenable to experimentation with different griddle recipes like cookies, hash browns, and chuffles, that's a cheese and egg waffle, and it's a game changer. Plus, it's cheap enough that you could buy two if you want to make a waffle sandwich bun in one go. The streamlined simplicity of the Mini Maker griddle leaves little room for bells and whistles. There are no controls, you just plug it in, and a light turns on when it reaches cooking temperature. There is also no timer to let you know when the waffle is done, so you have to keep track of that on your own. Luckily the griddle is quite forgiving and tends not to burn anything, even if it's left cooking for a few extra minutes. There is no better than the Dash Mini Maker griddle. The next product is All Clad Stainless Steel Classic. If you're looking to make waffles a staple in your home, there's a good chance your waffle maker will become a permanent presence on the counter. If that's the case, you may appreciate the all stainless steel, rugged look of the all clad stainless steel classic. This heavy duty machine is built to last and can churn out delicious waffles in seven different shades, from fluffy to crispy. It also has all of the preheating and fully cooked indicators that one would expect from a top notch appliance. The biggest downside of the All Clad is its relatively high price. Even if you are willing to spend extra on a more reliable and well-built machine, the All Clad still has some weak points compared to the similarly priced Breville No Mess. First off, the Breville's design essentially eliminates overflowing batter spills, whereas the All Clad simply minimizes them. Some surfaces of the All Clad can also get quite hot to the touch, something we didn't experience with the Breville. Still, if the all-clad is perfect with your kitchen decor, we don't think this machine is going to disappoint. The next product is Cuisinart Double Belgian. Most larger capacity waffle makers utilize a wide bed that can make for uneven batter distribution. The Cuisinart Double Belgian avoids that by stacking two round, flippable irons on top of one another, allowing you to make two delicious Belgian-style waffles at the same time. Plus, Helpful lights and beeps let you know when the irons are ready to go and when the waffles are done. We felt the one thing lacking in the Cuisinart Double Belgian was removable griddles. This machine weighs a whopping 13 pounds and is so much larger and heavier than most that trying to clean it after each use can be a hassle. Luckily the non-stick is usually pretty effective, so you shouldn't be stuck scrubbing too often. As long as you have storage space for this bulky device, it's the best way we've found to quickly make fluffy Belgian waffles. The next product is Oster CKSDWF 2000. If you're looking to spice up your breakfast spread but have a pretty tight budget, the Oster CKSDWF 2000 is your best bet. In our testing, it was able to make some great waffles with a nice crunch and a bit of fluff. The temperature control knob lets you find your desired point on the fluffy to crunchy spectrum, and a helpful, ready light lets you know when everything is up to temperature. As is often the case with budget products, you'll usually have to make some concessions, and the CKSTWF 2000 is no exception. It is pretty easy to overload the unit with batter, we suggest starting below the manufacturer's recommendation. Even if you get the batter right, there tends to be a fair amount of condensation that drips off the front of the machine, requiring some wiping. The waffles also fall just a bit short of the fluffiness most people would require to truly call them Belgian. They're certainly leaps and bounds better than frozen waffles, but you might be disappointed if you're expecting a super fluffy restaurant style product. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below. So if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.